I'll just I'll ask you okay. this, Congressman, about leadership. Yeah. Um, the, the speaker. I would be surprised if you didn't go there. Yeah, All really. Right, yeah. So, are you negotiating with who becomes the next? Uh, speaker, where's your support? Where's the Freedom Caucus support? You know, really right now, there's not a race. And so that I know that's going to disappoint you because everybody says <laughs> there is a race. And obviously, there's a race behind the scenes. And I would be it would be disingenuous to suggest otherwise. But I can tell you this. There are no negotiations going on. Uh, I'm not in it for anything for me. So that puts me in a good place to negotiate. I don't want a chairmanship. I don't want a speakership. I don't want a position. But what I do want is to make sure that, that my members, the Freedom Caucus members, have their fair representation at the leadership table and on committees of jurisdiction. And, and whomever is going to emerge as that leader will be the one who best articulates that. Uh, and until we get that, there won't be a new speaker. I can tell you, there's no one who has 218 votes today. Mm. Uh, we have a sophisticated whip operation, and I can assure you that no one without on the Republican side, can get uh, to 218 without Democrat votes. Follow up? Because Otherwise, there are yeah. three, about three dozen still House Freedom Caucus members, and you guys would probably vote as a block, I, I assume. From, yeah, from I mean, we have, four, we have 47 people who said they're willing to vote as a block right now, which really probably means that we have a hardcore 32. Mm -hmm. uh, but those are numbers that, that are based on real discussions that are out there. And... And so some who even say they'll be here or there. Mm -hmm. So beyond the Freedom Caucus, we've obviously had conversations. I think there are a lot of people who are frustrated with the way Washington, D.C. does work beyond the Freedom Caucus. And so I'm getting moderate members who say, listen, we've got to change this, mm -hmm. uh, the way that we do things, and, uh, and that's what's creating the dynamic. I'll do a real quick follow-up. Yep. Have, you, have you had a substantive conversation with Kevin McCarthy, the presumed... Uh, I guess front runner for the, the 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 next leader about winning the support of the Freedom Caucus. You know, uh, I've talked to uh, Leader McCarthy a lot. I've talked to Steve Scalise a lot. Uh, I have not had any negotiation uh, discussions with uh, Leader McCarthy in terms of that. He does know that we need to have a broad section of representation. I've had those conversations with him. We've had a number of conversations as it relates to that, and uh, and those are going well. But in terms of if you give me this, you get votes. Uh, that hasn't happened. Congressman Mark Meadows, thank you for being this Greta, week's thank newsmaker. You. Thank you. Appreciate it.